Hey, welcome to the Formerly Known Show, and today I got some facts about Adam Sandler's movies. There's Happy Gilmore, The Wedding Singer, Big Daddy, Mr. Deeds, and Pixels. These were just some of my favorite Adam Sandler movies. First up from 1995, Happy Gilmore. Bob Barker wasn't sure if he wanted to be in the movie. When he learned that he was going to win a fist fight with Adam Sandler, he accepted the role. Julie Bowen has said that there was a deleted scene of the happy place where she made out with a little person dressed like a cowboy. The script called for an immediate scene transition after Happy slugged Bob Barker, but then they got the idea to turn it into a full-blown fist fight. Around 30 minutes of film were cut in order to obtain the PG-13 rating. One deleted scene involves Happy throwing the nursing home orderly out of the window after finding out how badly his grandma was treated. That orderly was played by Ben Stiller, if you didn't know who I was talking about. Next up, from 1998, The Wedding Singer. Carrie Fisher, Judd Apatow, and Adam Sandler worked uncredited on the script. The role of Glenn Guglia was originally written for Jim Carrey. A musical adaptation of this movie opened at the Al Hirschfeld Theater on April 27th of 2006 and ran for 285 performances. It was nominated for the 2006 Tony Awards for Best Musical, Actor, Book, and Score. Former pro wrestler and actor Al Burke was originally cast as large David Lee Roth fan, but it changed to large Billy Idol fan. I think a Billy Idol fan is better than a David Lee Roth fan. I'm more of a fan of Billy Idol. On the VHS version, after the credits, there are three karaoke-style 80s songs. Next up, from 1999, Big Daddy. There's a dollar sticker because I got this movie from a garage sale. Adam Sandler's wife, Jackie Sandler, played the waitress in the bar that gets Julie in his root beer. This started the tradition of having his wife cameo in almost every Adam Sandler film. The working title for the film was Guy Gets Kid. While filming, The Waterboy came out and was a huge success. Noticing the box office, Sony sent a memo to the set, letting the production team and Adam Sandler know that they had extra money to film or expand scenes they felt were lacking. This allowed smaller characters played by Rob Schneider and Steve Buscemi to have greater roles. Adam Sandler met his wife Jackie Sandler on the set for this film. The two went on to get married in 2003. Next up is 2002's Mr. Deeds. When filming the scene where Deeds beats up Marty, Adam Sandler spun Alan Covert around. Covert slipped on the sidewalk and his head hit the concrete with no protection. He was unconscious for about a minute. Winona Ryder broke her arm while shooting the scene where she and Sandler rides bikes down the stairs. Early posters and some newspaper ads featured unnamed elderly butler instead of John Truro's character. Now the, the whole thing with um, Adam Sandler spinning Alan Covert around, I'm pretty sure on YouTube you could find that video and it's kind of like a, a blooper type of thing so check it out. And last up, 2015's Pixels. Pac-Man creator Toru Iwatani did not play himself because he doesn't speak English, but does play an arcade repairman. The female lead is named Violet Van Patten. Having his girlfriend's name start with a V is a, tra is a trademark of Adam Sandler. Virginia Venet in Happy Gilmore, Veronica Vaughn in Billy Madison, Vicky Valancourt in Waterboy, Valerie Varan in Little Nicky, and Vanessa in Big Daddy. When Brenner and Cooper first meet Ludlow, it is perceived that Ludlow is only a few years younger than Brenner and Cooper. In real life, Josh Gad is 15 to 16 years younger than Sandler and James. Kevin James, that is. There were no cheat codes on the original Pac-Man and Donkey Kong arcade games, only a few glitches. 
The closing credits rerun a synopsis of the movie in 8-bit style. I noticed that in the theaters and I thought that was an awesome way to roll the credits. Early test footage of Pac-Man's computer-generated animation made him look much sleeker with a smoother design. Production decided that to honor the original low-resolution character, he should appear rougher and with visible voxels. And there you have it. Those are some facts about my favorite Adam Sandler movies.